Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about the 17% speaker. So we all know that reverb is defined as how long a sound stays around in a room after it's been sung, spoken, or played. It kind of overstays its welcome. That's a good way to think about it, okay? And reverb is that 125 to 500 hertz range. That's the area we have to focus on for treatment because that's the frequency range of the problem. There's other issues, but if we grab that one and we do a good job with 125 to 500 hertz, issue resolved. So don't forget, we have six surface areas in our room. Floor to ceiling, sidewall, sidewall, front to rear. So we have six different speaker areas. So you take 100%, you divide it by six, you get about 17%. Each surface area contributes to reverb. Well, that's not necessarily the case because dimensions are different, but I'm trying to help you visualize the problem because so many times it's like, can't see the forest for the trees. You know, they look at a tree and they, they don't realize that it's part of a forest. So I try to break these things down in, in the simpler ideas so that you can grasp the bigger concept. So if we look at a room and we look at it as every surface area is a speaker, then we get a little bit better understanding of the source of the problem. Now, treating it is a completely different story. Reverb treatment, we have to do follow tap specifically. Select the right treatment and this get the right amount. And this is critical also. All of them are critical. And we call it critical mass, meaning you got to have so much square footage of coverage. Let's take a wall. It's 10 by 10, okay? And just for the sake of it. And we put a little panel here that's four square feet. The wall is 100. Now, without knowing numbers, without knowing the math and the physics behind it, just using a little common sense, because we see this a lot. <laughs> four square feet on 100 square feet. Even if that thing is a huge sponge at 125 to 50, even 100%, it's still not going to help the problem because we don't have enough surface area coverage. Surface area coverage minimum starts at 50% for reverb treatment. So that's why a lot of this is nonsense, okay? We see it a lot, but you can't have it. Must treat three out of the six surface areas minimum. And it's at 100%. Well, you can't do that, right? Because there's windows, there's doors, there's all kinds of obtrusion. So we have to divide the amount required and spread it out over all the surface areas. Now, some surface areas contribute more to the solution than others. In churches, the sidewalls are important because they're lateral reflections for the congregation members. So you want to treat your sidewalls first. That'll give you the best bang for the dollar. Must have strong absorption from 125 to 500, which is what our foam technology is. You can see here in the foam graphic, it's really strong from 125 to 500, but not strong enough for reverb management in large rooms. So we gotta go get some more horsepower. So we gotta double the thickness, triple the thickness, and Rather than do that and keep making the unit thicker and thicker, we're going to go to a new technology. That's a perforated absorber. Perforated absorber keeps the same linearity as the foam, but goes a little bit lower and gets a little bit more, a lot more. Okay. So you can add another 35, 40% to our foam curves when you put the foam inside a perforated absorber. And it takes up six inches of space, not eight and 10, 12. So you have to be cognizant of that. Building, it's kind of like a, di a perforated absorber. It's kind of like a diaphragmatic absorber with holes on the face. Diaphragmatic absorbers do not have holes in the face because it doesn't work on airflow, it works on pressure. But a Hemholtz is kind of a hybrid. It's kind of a cross between a pressure activated device and a molecular velocity or an airflow device like foam, device like foam. So it gets more, more horsepower, amount, because we don't, we're restricted in our positioning a lot of type, times. So we go from foam to perforated, and we get the right amount, we put it in the right place. That's how we nail it.
and we guarantee all our reverb time. If we set out for a target reverb time of 1.5 seconds in your venue, we'll hit that. If we don't, we'll make sure we do. So we guarantee all our reverb time. There ain't a company out there that'll do that because they don't, they don't have the technology to do, to do it, to provide the guarantee. We do. Two inch panels, not enough. We see a lot of those. Get a lot of pictures of churches. They have the two inch and they have the one inch, which is a real joke. Not going to get enough at all. And what's happened here? They've sold the church on the idea that they need sound absorption. Okay, that's good. That, that deserves merit. And then they subscribe a treatment type that doesn't work. Doesn't get enough of the 125 to 500. And then they don't put enough in the right place. So it's a lose, lose, lose across the board. And when they call me, I always say, well, why are you calling me? You spent tens of thousands of dollars on treatment and it doesn't work. Well, we're calling you because it doesn't work. And they're also out of money because they blew the budget on something that didn't work. Go with a company that guarantees the results, especially in acoustics, because, you know, this industry is full of thieves and charlatans. So make sure, you know, you stick with a company that guarantees the results. And we do. So hope this helps in terms of reverb understanding. Every wall, every ceiling, every floor is a speaker and you have to treat it accordingly. Now, people say, well, what do you do with the floor? In churches, we have people sitting in pews. People are big bags of water. They absorb energy. One human being is the equivalent of 12 square feet of half inch carpet with a half inch pad. So one inch of material. 12 square feet, you put that in the calculations for absorption coefficient. That's how we dial in reverb. We look at the absorption coefficients of all the materials in the room. Software does that for you. Pretty soon AI will. Ooh, that'll be a lifesaver. 17% speaker, hope this helps for understanding reverb. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.